I'm delighted to be here at the inaugural GCN uh, Southwest event. It is hugely, hugely important to me that at a time of immense change, government communicators rise to the challenge of improving their digital, their evaluation and their commercial skills. I want to see government communicators helping lead their organisations, which means they've got to understand how digital communications are changing society as a whole. They've got to be able to prove their worth in terms of showing how evaluation can be used to demonstrate the benefit, the public benefit, the campaigns deliver. And in terms of commercial skills, one of the tenants that's central to the civil service reform plan, I want to see communicators demonstrating value for money. It's not always about doing things at the lowest cost, but it's about proving the return on the campaigns that we that the public invest in and delivered by our communicators. The new competencies, the professional competencies for communicators, a bit of a mouthful, but they're actually central to the way we want communicators to develop. We have said, look, if you are going to succeed in communications, then you have got to be able to evaluate what you do. You've got to be able to prove the worth of your campaigns. You've got to be able to demonstrate that at the mid-year reviews, at the end of the year reviews, because that is the way you demonstrate your worth to the organisation. And by doing that, organisations, public organisations across the South West and across the UK will take communications more seriously, put it at the board table, listen to its recommendations and act on it. I've seen some great campaigns um, uh, here today in the um, uh, South West, from the Honest Truth uh, road safety campaign to the NHS uh, BT campaigns, the environment agencies, push on flooding and other absolutely critical issues. Government communicators save, improve lives, but by proving how those campaigns work and referring back to those professional competencies, they'll benefit themselves, they'll benefit their organisations, but most importantly, they'll benefit the public. One of the things that I think we've struggled with over the last couple of years is recognising that you know half the people that work in public communications and certainly government communications aren't in London, they're in the regions. Um, that we also have as much to learn from local government as local government can learn from us. And I think we've been a bit arrogant to think, well, if it's in Whitehall, it's really important. And, you know, there's, the, there's just emptying the bins that happens in local government. Actually, learning more from those organisations that are much closer to people like you and I, to members of the public, you know, to our parents, is, is incredibly important. So today is a way of getting people together and sharing knowledge. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think my one key message would be, although at our best we do brilliant public communications, we're not always at our best. And so there are some changes to the structure, the scope and the processes that we work to um, that will come up over a course, the course of the next year or so. Processes and structures, boring I know, but the culture, you know, we have to be hungry, we have to be ambitious, we need to look to local government, to the NHS, to the police and the fire service, as much as to, to, to Whitehall, to learn. Um, is a real takeout from today, and I think you know, people are really eager about that. What Alex said about communicators being the conscience of an organisation and our job being to provide challenge, I think that's really important. And I think that in straightened economic circumstances, it's more important than ever that we don't just take the brief, that we actually challenge it. I think it's been absolutely brilliant so far. It's really positive to see people coming together at a regional level to share best practice. It's great to see people coming down from Whitehall, like Alex Aitken, coming to you know, really make sure that the PR profession across the country is energised in government and across the public sector. I think it's been really good.